we at the police department try our best to enforce social distancing and a lot of other stuff, like you rightfully mentioned, these public drinkings. And honestly, when I saw the video that you were referring to, where it looked like a juvie, I honestly thought it was an old video. But um, you, the general public, you owe it to your family and to yourself to stay safe and healthy. And when you go out there and involve yourself in these irresponsible kind of behavior, and uh, how to say, these clusters that you put yourself into, we at the police department can only do so much. For us to go into a situation like that, let's say at a funeral, where there are hundreds of people, and you only have a deployment of so much police, that situation could turn volatile, and then it could turn worse. So what we try to do is try to, how to say, just try to distance the people, try to talk to them. Um, people were complaining of, at that same funeral on Saturday that they were doing some live event video, and you can hear people talking over the pastor people. We cannot control who goes to these events. We do not know who is related to the deceased. We can only ask you, the general public, don't put yourself out there if you don't have to. When only a certain amount of people were allowed to go to funerals, it was easier. But we have noticed that since the amount of people allowed to mourn, have been open, it's harder to control. But sir, even if you don't want to address the amount of people attending the funeral, the issue of public drinking, the issue of smoking weed in, in, on the street, um, that's other violations that the police should I, I do agree, Marianne, and that's up to the officers on the ground to deal with these, um, how to say, the breaking of the law in their presence. I cannot answer for those officers out there, but we instill that they do their job with due diligence.